TNG, the next generation, a genealogy application. This video is brought to you by the Alberta Family History Society through their website feature familygenes.ca. Importing a GEDCOM file into TNG. Just what is a GEDCOM file? GEDCOM is an acronym for Genealogical Data Communication. It is a file that comes from your Family Tree software, whether that be Family Tree Maker, Legacy, the Master Genealogist, PAF, or otherwise. This file format was designed very early on so that various software applications would be able to interchange your family information between them. The GEDCOM file is what we call a flat file format, and it contains the information on your family, birth, marriages, deaths, and other such events. The file name has to end with a .ged, or else TNG is not going to recognize it. It has information on your ancestors so that parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, and going the other way, siblings, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and the relationships between them are all captured, defining the family units. This is the computer method of moving information between family history applications, including TNG. Where's my master? This is not just a cheeky comment. Once you import your family tree into the TNG Internet application, you now have two repositories for your data. One is the original files on your home computer, where the GEDCOM was created. Now you also have a family tree on TNG. One of them should become your master file, where you keep your most current information. The other can be your backup if you want. If you decide that the home computer remains your main source, then you will be updating TNG with regular GEDCOM imports, as explained further on. Or, if you elect TNG as your master family tree source, then you can keep your home computer current by regularly importing a GEDCOM file from TNG. If you use the Family Genes website for hosting your TNG, rest assured that your TNG files are automatically backed up daily by the host provider. Also, if they have permissions set, your users could also download a GEDCOM file from TNG into their home computers. We are now going to show you how to move your family information from a GEDCOM file and import it into TNG. If you want to see how to get a GEDCOM file from your computer, go back to video number 4 for a review. We will now use my own personal family tree maker for an example. We will start off at the administrator's main page. and From there, click on Import Export. This takes you to the working page for bringing in your family from another computer application using the GEDCOM file. TNG expects to see a standard 5.5 GEDCOM file, but it will work with a 4.0 GEDCOM format. If you're not sure of your file format, check the selections in the application that created it. We are going to go ahead and import my file is in the default settings on this page. We will discuss all the options shortly. The first two choices are whether to import a file from your computer or from your TNG website. Usually first time users will have the file on their computer. Click on the Choose File button and browse for the appropriate file, which will always end with a .ged suffix. Here are all my family tree maker disk files with a few GED files in the list. The one I want is the Weber underscore 2013-09-26 GED file. Let's open this file now. The TNG screen confirms that it now has the correct file for us. The checkbox for Accept Data for All New Custom Event Types is especially useful if your computer family tree application has many field types. If that is the case, you may want to view an explanation on this box further along in this video. But let's keep going. Next, we need to tell TNG where to put the new information. That is, what tree is this information connected to? A beginner in TNG will have only one tree at this time, so that makes it easy. 
But if this is going to be a separate tree, then you want to use the Add New Tree button. I don't at this time. Now comes a tough choice. Do I want to replace all my current data, match records, don't change any data, or append? This tutorial version of TNG has only two ancestors in it right now, but the JEDCOM file that I'm importing has more. So, I want to replace all current data and then get on with the job. The next three checkboxes allow you to do some fine tuning on the import, and we will explain them a bit later on. Let's hit the big Import Data button and see what happens. We'll now go back to the start of the import page and review the options. The first section determines the source of your information, or where you have stashed the JEDCOM file. If it is on your local computer, then just follow the previous instructions. If the JEDCOM file is large in size, say greater than 2 megabytes, you may hit a size limit with your web hosting provider. If you get an error during the import, this is likely the cause. You might have to FTP it into a TNG subdirectory on the website first. In order to get your JEDCOM file uploaded to the TNG website, you use a tool called FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. FTP requires some familiarity with software and the Internet, and you will need access permission from the TNG host provider. If you are comfortable with that, then use FTP to upload your file into the JEDCOM folder on the TNG site. Once the file is in the website JEDCOM folder, click on the Select button to select the desired file. Your JED file must be in this JEDCOM folder or the Select button will not find it. I'll stop here as I have already imported the information from my home computer. Events are occurrences in time for your ancestors. The JEDCOM will handle the standard events of births, marriages and deaths. However, you might have some custom events in your file that you want imported into TNG. These checkboxes will help. If you go to the administration main page and click on custom event types, you can review current events and add more manually if you want. If you want to check your JEDCOM file for any custom event types, then start with the second checkbox. Checking this option will cause only custom event types to be imported. All other data is ignored. This is an ideal option to select during your initial setup as it will allow you to see which custom events you have in your JEDCOM. You can then select which ones to accept and which ones to ignore before importing your entire database. The other checkbox is to accept data for all new custom event types. Your JEDCOM file might contain events that TNG considers as custom events. Normally, new custom event types included in a JEDCOM file are entered into the database, but the data is set to be ignored. You will need to change the status of a custom event type to Accept in order for events of that type to be imported. In other words, you'll need to import your file twice. If you check this option, TNG will automatically set all new custom event types to Accept, and all your events will be imported the first time. The next section is where we want the information imported into. Select a tree to receive the imported data. This is required. If the tree to receive the data does not yet exist, click on the Add New Tree button to create it. A small pop-up box will appear and allow you to enter the information for the new tree. We'll now move to the bottom section of this page where we decide on how we want TNG to replace old data with new. There are four checkboxes available. The first one is Replace all current data. If you choose this option, all your previous JEDCOM data, including people, families, children, sources, repositories, events, notes, associations, and citations, but not media or anything else, will be deleted prior to the import. This might be a good time to back up your tables before performing an import. Replace matching records only. With this option, New records are added and matching records are replaced. 
old data is not deleted. Matches are determined by the ID number. Do not replace any data. New records are added, but any matches are ignored. That is, they're not replaced. Finally, append all records. All records are imported, regardless of existing data, but their IDs are recalculated. ID numbers for the imported records will be added to the first available number, or a number you specify, to create the new ID numbers. Let's return the second choice, matching records only, and explore the checkboxes below. First is uppercase all surnames. Check this box prior to importing if you want all incoming surnames to be converted to uppercase. The surnames will be stored in the database this way so the process is not reversible unless you import your GEDCOM file again. Next is do not recalculate living flag. If you chose replace matching records only above you will also see this option. Check this box prior to importing if you do not want the living flag to be recalculated for individuals that were already in the database. Next is replace only if newer. Matching records will only be replaced if the incoming record is newer than the one in the database. This is based on the last modified date associated with the record in the GEDCOM. And finally, import media if present. If your GEDCOM contains links to media, selecting this option will allow TNG to import them and set up the appropriate links. You must still copy the physical files associated with these links to the appropriate folders on your site via other means, such as FTP. If you do not want to import any media links, make sure this box is not checked prior to performing the import. So that's it for importing all your information from your home computer, all your families, dates, custom events, and media. In the next video, we will look at ways to change the overall appearance of your new TNG website to make it inviting to relatives, friends, and visitors.